hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, so for today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through basically the 24 books of 2024. No, not off 20 for 2024. That's I want to be reading in 2024. How many times can I say 2024? Anyway, so first off this list consists of uh, more than 24 books uh, because I am a crazy person and that's just how I roll um, I, I have them sort of like grouped it makes sense in my brain I have them sort of grouped uh, so if there's a series um, consisting of many books that series will count as uh, one book for the 2024 challenge I, I it makes sense in my brain I'm sorry uh, but, uh, yeah um <laughs> basically it's a way for me to read as many books in said series or all the books in said series I'm weird okay um but it kind of worked for 2023 as it was so I uh, I'm just gonna do it again I guess because why not why not it's I set the rules for my own challenges okay this is just for me anyway but I want to share because uh there may be series or books that someone else might be interested in you watching for example I don't know um, I love watching these kinds of videos because I get like a, for one I get a sense of what kind of books said person doing said video likes uh, and also I get ideas for books I want to get you know when I can get books anyway so enough rambling um, so 2024 is gonna be a lot about you know reading the books I already own <laughs> however there are 365 days in the year or is it 366 I don't know is it a leap year I don't know possibly anyway there's 360 plus days in a year there's 12 months there's 52 weeks unless there's some odd way uh, there's 53 weeks that's happened before and I was very confused anyway there's <laughs> my point is the year is long I have time to get a job and get some cash to buy more books and it's good to set goals because when you have goals you walk you walk why do you walk you work towards said goal so goals are good you work to get said goal it works for me anyway I'm not saying everybody should do this but it works for me I have uh, obviously already confused myself and I have not talked about any books that I uh, may or may not read this year hopefully I read them I, I try to aim I try to aim to read all of them but if I don't that's fine too I'm okay with it I didn't complete the 2023 challenge as it were but I did read most of the books on that list so I am good with that um, even if I had just read one book that would be good too anyway let's dive into the list before I confuse myself again I think I have like most of the books here there are some that are like on pre-order so they will arrive later but uh, if there's like a pre-order or a book I don't own yet because there are so few of those I will put in a, a little picture of said book I think I can do that I think I've done it before possibly I don't know anyway so first up we have only love can hurt like this bop tune this 
book is sure to be a tearjerker. If I don't cry even a little bit reading this book, I may be dead inside. I mean, it's possible I am anyway, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this will be... I'm pretty sure this will... <laughs> I'm pretty sure this book will make me cry just a little bit anyway, at least. Um, so, <laughs> obviously, well not obviously, but I do follow Paige Toon on social media and anytime she finishes a book, she will like post a video or picture, mostly a video I think, of herself <laughs> um, after she's finished whatever book. And she's always crying. She's 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 always crying and um that doesn't bode well for a reader if the author is crying after having finished the book um for the reader to not cry so you know um I'm going to be crying so let's see uh Ren ha realized that her fiance is in love with someone else and she thinks her heart will never recover um, Anders has lost his wife and is struggling to move on. Uh, yeah, it seems they cross paths somewhere, somehow, and uh, neither of them expected to fall in love, but sometimes life has other plans. So, there's, there's this book. Uh, and then we come to the first series of the thing. So, there are four books. We have the chocolate lovers we have the chocolate lovers club the chocolate lovers diet the chocolate lovers christmas and the chocolate lovers wedding all by carol matthews so these are more adult adult romance books um but you know they kind of center around chocolate, so um, had to be done. Had to be done. I, I don't know what else to say about those, honestly, but <laughs> yeah. Um, so the next books uh, here are also a full series. Ooh, okay. So we have um, Summer at Hope Meadows. We have Christmas at Mistletoe Cottage, uh, Springtime at Wildacre, uh, Snowflakes over Moon Cottage, Summer Days at Sunrise Farm, and the last one is Christmas at Silverdale, all by Lucy Daniels. Now, Lucy Daniels is, um, I think it's a man and a woman writing under a author name, pen name, pseudonym. They write in under the name Lucy Daniel. I don't think anyone, either of them has the name Lucy or Daniel or Daniels uh, in their names. So I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't know about these. I think they all center around different characters. I don't really want to check because that would give spoilers for myself and that would be terrible. I will, you know, wrap them up whenever I've read them and then we'll know. Uh, <laughs> but if I start reading the backs of like the last book, that's going to be not a good thing. So yeah, they're all about like love and animals and stuff. I think the first one is like a vet or something. I don't know. It's possible they all have the same people in them. Um, we'll see. Um, it's a big... St <laughs> it is a mix of seasons. So we'll see how far they all span and stuff. I do know that there is a novella that will come like after all the books. Uh, I do think I have that one. I think it's called something with a lamb or something. Um, so I may read that as well. I almost said I will write that, but I it's it's written. I don't need to write it. <laughs> I need to read it. Yeah. Um so next up we have The Stolen Air by Holly Black. So I also have The Prisoner's Throne. Let's insert a picture here. Um 
I have that on pre-order, so that will come whenever um, that arrives. I don't know when all these books come out. I'll put a little thingy on. Um, so this takes place after the the Cruel Prince books. They're not called the Cruel Prince. They're called something else. The Folk of the Air series. That's what they're called. Uh, so the Cruel Prince, the Wicked King, and the Queen of Nothing. Uh, I read those possibly last year. I think it was the beginning of 2023. I think. I don't keep track in my head. I keep track in notebooks. Um, so the second book, it's a duology. So the second book is coming out. I have it on pre-order since like forever. Uh, so I'm excited to pick that up, to pick this one up and that one up because I want to know what happens. Um, I'm just that kind of person. Uh, yeah, so these will be a bit of a reread. So I have Eve of Man and the Evolution by Giovanna and Tom Fletcher. Now, the third book is coming out. Hopefully, supposedly, I don't know. This third book has been pushed back like for the last two years or something like that. So, you know, I may not read these books, but I do want to reread these books uh, before I read the third one because it's been a while. And um, I want a bit of a refresher and uh yeah i'm excited to finish that series because it's been two years actually it's been like five years i think since the first one came out so yeah there's there's that <laughs> so basically eva man is uh set in a dystopian weird ass future that i don't want to think about basically there's not a, been a girl born for 50 years and eve <laughs> just happens to be the best first girl born in 50 years so weird things happen basically she lives in this like high rise tower uh where she's doted on and not see not able to see like the outside world where there's just like lots of boys um there are females females as well they're just you know 50 plus years old so there's that um there's intrigue there's mystery stuff happening i want to read the third book give me the third and final book now thank you stop pushing it back if you push it back another year i'm gonna be so upset um <laughs> yeah i think i may be uh, a bit possessed there but you yeah, know so the next uh two books are also rereads so we have round breaker and blade breaker by victoria aviard uh so the third book fate breaker is coming out sometime this year um it's on pre-order so has eve of man book number three been for the last two years um <laughs> anyway um i want to reread book number one and two because uh so i read the second book i think it was in 2023 i read it when it came out and I felt like it had been so long since I read book one that I couldn't really get into book two. So I figure when book three comes, I'll read book one and two and then go into number three. Um, if it just feels like the right thing to do. That's the trouble with reading series and uh, books in series and then waiting for the next one for like two years or something like that. I don't like waiting out, okay? <laughs> this is also kind of the reason I used to not read books in series until the series was finished. Yeah, let's go back to that. I try, I try. I'm also going to try not to ooze all the aggression right now. We have another series. I think it's called the Baba Ganesh agency agency investing i don't know anyway so we have uh and the unexpected inheritance of inspector chopra the perplexing theft of the jewel and the crown 
The Strange Disappearance of a Bollywood Star, a little uh, quick read novella called Inspector Chopra and the Million Dollar Motor Car. Uh, then we have Murder at the Grand Raj Palace and the final book, Bad Day at the Vulture Club. Uh, I do think that is a complete series. I don't know. It's something investigating Indian-ish inspired. That's what I'm going to go with. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm doing a great job, okay? I'm not, but who cares? <laughs> anyway, back to some romance books. So I have Let Me Do by Lindsay Kelg. Now this came out, mm, this is her latest book so far. Greetings card, copywriter Phoebe Chapman knows a good romantic line or two and it makes her a fantastic Cupid. So when she lands in the Hollywood Hills, a place that proves film stars, golden beaches and secret waterfalls don't just exist in the movies, she can't resist playing matchmaker for a handsome neighbor Carpenter Wren. <laughs> um, this, knowing Lindsay Kelk's books, this is sure to be a romantic comedy kind of a deal. Uh, and I can't wait. It's, it's sure to be a good time. Uh, maybe crack a tear or two. Who knows? Mostly, uh, she writes funny books, funny romance books. And I'm here for it. Um, so, next up I have a book two and three in a series. I don't want to reread book one. Maybe I should, but I don't feel like it. Also, I have started book two, so there's that. Um, this, I, I'm putting these on this list mainly so I'll actually finish them. So, the first book is Illuminae. <laughs> yeah. And then we have... Gemini, which I have started, and then last one is Obsidio. Now, the books all follow different characters. So, the first one, uh, I just just about got into the story and then was done. And then we have book two. So, this it's a sci fi, so we're on spaceships, and now we're on a different spaceship. And I don't know if I like the characters or not yet. Anyway, um, I do want to finish this series, so, so I'm putting it on this list to make myself sit down and read it. Yes, I could just DNF and ignore, but I want to know what happens, okay? I want to know. And no, I do not want to reread book number three. Um, so they're all like mixed media. You can't see a thing, but they're all like mixed media. So we have like um, emails, whatever this is, um, drawings. What's this? Oh, it was just the middle pages. Um, <laughs> there's like loads of different things. That's an x-ray. That's interesting. So I'm hoping to actually finish it, because I want to know. I think there's like some novellas here or there, um, but I think those are easily found. I will very much have to read them as ebooks, but that's fine. Um, I don't know if I'll pick them up or not. I've not written them down, but I may or may not read them. Who knows? Um, I'm just waffling again. <laughs> Another little romance books and also an author uh, that's already on this list, but with her partner. Anyway, a book I have started, I read one chapter and then for some reason <laughs> didn't read it anymore. Um, so I have this thing where I sometimes pick up a couple of books that I may be interested in. I read like one chapter of each book and then kind of just continue whichever book has tickled my fancy at the time. And this book just happened to end up in that pile. Now, I usually read her books like straight away, but for some reason I keep forgetting I have this book. So it's uh, Walking on Sunshine by Joanna Fletcher. Now, this is the latest book she's released, I believe. I don't think she, she may have done like a non-fiction book since, I don't know. Uh, but this is the latest fiction book she's released. There is one coming this year, and it may also end up on my 24 of 2024 list. 
that's to be decided. Anyway, I have read one chapter. I would like to read it before her next book comes out. An author I've read a lot of, and I love a lot, and recently met. Did I get, I got this sign, didn't I? I must have. Yes, I did get this sign. Anyway, so it's the, I don't know if it's the, like the latest one, but it's latest-ish one. Anyway, it's a You Could Be So Pretty by Holly Bourne. There's sure to be some mental health mental health romance, maybe. Basically, I would say Holly Bourne books are self-help in fiction format. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. She's also a very good writer, so you will have a good time while you like figure out problems with yourself. <laughs> that sounds so depressing and boring, but um, a lot of her books have actually helped me figure out stuff that's gone wrong in my life. And uh, yeah, I, I don't see that as a bad thing because I haven't felt bad after reading them. I've had more like a aha moments, like that shit went down and it was not a good thing. And now I can move past it. So I kind of like move past things um fairly quickly but sometimes they just eat a weight in my brain anyway moving on another author i met recently is um nadia mikhail so this is the cats we meet along the way now i'm not too sure uh, but i think the book is like the world is ending and the characters or maybe just the one character kind of goes on this journey to find um, basically her long lost sister who's not been around for a bit. Um, and there's a parent of cats involved, so I had to pick it up. Uh, it's also a very short book and the, um, the font is quite large and spaced out, so I feel it should possibly be a quick read. We'll see. I have two books from this author I'm going to read, um, but uh, I'm missing two books. So, the first one is a standalone and is Masters of Death by Olivia Blake. Something about occurs. Is this the pirate one? This is possibly the pirate. No, it's the vampire one. <laughs> um, vampires, apparently. <laughs> Anyway, the <laughs> the second book is the second book in this series. Um, yeah, so it's the Atlas Paradox. I am looking for a hardback copy of the Atlas 6, which is book one. I have the Atlas Complex, book number three, on pre-order, so I'm waiting for that. Um, so at some point, once I find book number one... <laughs> Yes, I do need them in hardback, okay? I have this one in hardback and, and it has sprayed edges, so I, I, I need it, okay? I need it. <laughs> um, also, it's not that easy to find sometimes, so we'll see what happens. I, yeah, it's possible it was Dark Academia. I have forgotten. Anyway, let's move on because I have more than 24 books on my 24 book list. Are we surprised? Anyway, what? which one is this one? So, this is the first book in a series. I only have the first one so far. Um, so, Chatty um, has said she thinks I should read this book, a uh, well series, and um, make reading vlogs for them. Chaotic reading vlogs, so expect that. Um, well, the first book is The Ruin of Kings and the author's Jan Lyons. So, at some point, I will read this and make a very chaotic vlog. Now, I have been told by Chatty that you need to read all the books in kind of close order, um, or else you're going to get wildly confused. You might get wildly confused even if you do read them all in, like, close proximity. That makes no sense. <laughs> 
So there's that. So the second book is called The Name of All Things. Third is The Memory of Souls. Fourth is The House of Always. And the fifth one is The Discord of Gods. Um, so at some point I will get those books as well and uh, I will read them and be confused and chaotic because I think that's just my brand and I now. Now these books, these books are already out technically however um, they were like rebranded, <laughs> they got new covers um, and I kind of enjoyed those covers so um, yeah I kind of bought all the books in these covers. Uh, the book numbers three and four uh, have not yet come out but according to my pre-order pre list um, they are coming out this year so hopefully I'll read them all. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, book number one is Wolf Song, and um, yeah, it, it has that. And the second book is a Raven Song. The third one is Heart Song, and the fourth one is a Brother Song by TJ Clune. Um, I don't remember what these were about. I dreamt of wolves and blood rain boon. They sang to me. That tells me absolutely nothing. Um, Ox Matheson was 12 when his father taught him a lesson. Ox wasn't worth anything and people would never understand him. Then he left. Okay then. Anyway, um, whenever books three and four come, I think the fourth one is coming in in like August or something. Um, so, but yeah, they, they are quite <laughs> chunky. I am quite disappointed this one hasn't got like the fancy sprayed edges because I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be an exclusive special edition one. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Another series I have is, uh, I think it has the same title, so, so it's The Luminaries by Susan Dennett. I have book number two which is The Hunting Moon. I believe book number three is coming out sometime this year. So when that happens, I shall read them. Uh, I do also believe that the third book is the the last book, but yeah, they they have these sprayed edges, so I needed them in my life, didn't I? Yeah, this is this is how I go broke. Anyway. <laughs> Um, another series <laughs> on which I don't have the last book because it's not out yet and I don't actually know when it's out but um, I was told it's sometime this year so we're going with that. Anyway, so it's been going around. So the first one is The Art of Prophecy by Wesley Chu and the second one is The Art of Destiny. I don't know anything about them, so, and I don't feel like looking it up. So we're moving on to madness. Yes, we are. So, <laughs> another bunch of books. I love that I, um, I remember my words. Oh yeah, <laughs> the Wesley Chu ones. They have some fancy sprayed edges. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> these are weird order. Are these in the right order? Okay, so the first one is the bone season. The second one is the mime order. Third one is the song rising. And the fourth one is the mask falling by Samantha Shannon. Now, um, I don't know how many books that are supposed to be in the whole series. I think it's like seven or something. The rest have not yet come out, but uh, we'll see when that happens. I do want to start this series because it's been out for a bit. I also have like the new um, edition of The Bone Season, which these, the rest of the books uh, are also going to come out in that same like revised edition. I'm going to read the paperbacks for now. So, so I read the original version? I don't know. Um, <laughs> pretty much that. 
uh, I know not a lot. I think it's there's like some magic involved. The first one at least is somehow set in London. Because there's this thing where the bone season shows up in Seven Dials. Um, but people post pictures of themselves holding the book in Seven Dials. That, that's, and that's a reference. Tells me nothing so far because I don't know anything about them. Anyway, another series that I don't own yet, but I have read like all the previous ones, and it is The Last Hours by Cassandra Clare. So we have Chain of Gold, Chain of Iron, and Chain of Thorns. Uh, I do want to read them at some point. <laughs> when this will be, I don't know. Um, I do think that there's a box set of the three books coming out sometime soon, or has come out. I'm not sure. Sometime around this time, anyway. Um, I might be picking that one up as soon as I can, you know, pay for it. <laughs> This is what happens when you're jobless and broke. You don't know when you're gonna buy things. Um, but yeah, uh, these next ones involve me buying things. So I also want to read uh, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Susan Collins. So I have uh, read all the Hunger Games books multiple times. I don't know if I'll reread them after finishing uh, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Um, since that is a prequel, I don't know. But I do want to watch the movie at some point, so it may be a book versus movie kind of a deal. I don't know. We'll see. I do want to pick it up at some point. Um, yeah. <laughs> Other books um not on the list and they may or may not come out this year. So we have Giovanna Fletcher's 2024 book, Lu Lucy Vine's 2024 book, Lindsay Kalk's 2024 book, and Paige Toon's 2024 book. Uh, I don't know the title of these books, but I think they're coming out sometimes in the first, like, half of the year, uh, possibly during the summer. I don't know. Um, they may end up on the list as well. I don't know yet. It's it's just a lot, like a pin in it for now. Next couple of hundred books or so, <laughs> not really, but feels like it, um, are Brandon Sanderson. So I've read a couple of them. I've read um, Elantris, uh, Warbreaker, uh, uh, Skyward, and like the first Mistborn book. So The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and The Hope of Ages. Yes, <laughs> The Hero of Ages, not Hope. Jesus. Um... <laughs> So I've read those, and I kind of want to progress more. So I've written up, so I've read the first Skyward book. I have written a, down that one as well, because I, I kind of want to reread that before I dive into the rest of that series. So book number two is Starsight, and book number three is Cytonic. Uh, amongst those books uh, are some novellas. Uh, which are featured in Skyward Flight, so yeah. Uh, and then the fourth book recently came out, I believe, and it's called Defiance, so I, I want to start making a dent in that series. Um, I also want to make a dent in Mistborn Era 2 and the Stormlight Archive. Now, the Stormlight Archive is still ongoing, but there are a good couple of books in there. Um, also, I'm not too sure, uh, like from the top of my head, which order the Miss Bonera 2 and Stormlight archive books are supposed to be read. I do have a list on my laptop, um, so I'm going to be following that. Miss Bonera 2, we have The Alloy of Law, Shadows of Self, The Bands of Mourning, and also The Lost Metal. Now, that recently came out, I believe, and it's not like a book four, I think, is like a book 3.5 or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, those are the ones in that series. So, Stormlight Archive, The Way of Kings, Words of Radiance, Edge Dancer, Oathbringer, Dawnshard, and Rhythm of War. Um, I'm not completely sure I've written them down in the correct order, but it doesn't matter. I have the correct order in my, um, on my laptop. Um, and this is just from my reading journal. 
I don't know, my thingy. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't think I'm going to read all the Brandon Sanderson books this year, but um, I want to try to make a, a bit of a dent in them because I kind of want to get into like Robin Hobb and stuff later on as well. I do also want to read um, Wheels of we Wheel of Times at some point. There are so many books in those series. Robin Hobb isn't a series, that's an author name, but Robin Hobb has like multiple series that will kind of go together. Uh, but there's there's so many books in 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 there and uh, yeah I kind of want to make a bigger dent in Brandis Sanderson's backlisted books I suppose um, because I have already started reading his books so yes it shall happen at some point maybe this year maybe not this year but I've written them down it's a challenge for me yes there are so this video was definitely not short. It may or may not have been sweet, possibly, probably not. Um, I did do a lot of waffling and I got confused. I don't know how many times. I should have stopped having like a confused counter or something. Anyway, um, let's see what I can edit this down to or have edited down to as you're watching this. Confusion. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.